Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. edition, Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn about the paid family leave enhancement included with Release 2022. Sage 50 has been enhanced to provide added support for state taxes which fund paid family leave. These taxes may be employee withholdings, employer contributions, or both. Currently, there are five states with family leave formulas in the SAGE Maintain tax tables included in this enhancement. They are Connecticut, which is funded through employee withholdings, the District of Columbia, which has employer contributions only, New York, which is also employee funded, Massachusetts has both employee and employer formulas, and Washington State also has both employee and employer participation. And there are two states that plan to add family leave taxes in the next few years. They are Colorado and Oregon. As a best practice, SAGE recommends you periodically check with your state taxing authorities so you are aware of any changing requirements. First, let's take a look at the paid family leave features for a new company created in Release 2022. Later, we will also look at an existing company and discuss some differences. With a newly created company, once the payroll settings wizard has been completed, the software determines whether the company is in one of the five states where paid family leave is calculated, and if so, creates your payroll settings and employee defaults for you. However, even in a new company, some states may require an additional step to finalize the paid family leave setup. This is a manual step that must be completed by you. Check with your state taxing authority for more details. There is also a knowledge base reference at the end of this lesson for each state. This particular company is in Washington State and has both employee withholdings and employer contributions. Let's start with the payroll settings wizard. On the Assign Tax Fields window for Company Paid Taxes, a new field has been added to this window for paid family leave, and because Washington State has employer contributions for paid family leave, a new standard value has been assigned to the field. In states where this does not apply, or for existing companies, the value would display as none. Likewise, on the Employee Paid State Taxes window, there is also a newly added field for paid family leave and a similar assigned value that indicates Washington State also has employee withholding for the paid family leave fund. Now let's view the employee defaults window. A new row has been added by Sage 50 for the employee withholding portion of the paid family leave and the formula has also been selected. There is also a row added to the Company Fields tab for the employer contribution. Now let's look at the additions to a couple of payroll reports. The payroll register now displays new headings for paid family leave. The new headings reflect the standard SAGE 50 designation for paid family leave. For existing companies, Paid family leave would also be displayed using whatever custom field name was created on the employee defaults window. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. The tax liability report has also been enhanced and a new paid family leave section has been added. Look for paid family leave information toward the end of the report, just after the SUI section. The Paid Family Leave Enhancement also sends SAGE 50 information to your state tax forms. For Washington State, here is a quarterly Paid Family Leave form. Here is the Washington State Paid Family and Medical Leave Report. Most of the data has been pulled from SAGE 50. Before this enhancement, the report would have to be completed manually. Now you've seen the new features that are possible with this enhancement. Let's look at an existing company that was already recording paid family leave prior to release 2022. 
For this existing company to take advantage of all the new features, some minor setup modifications will need to be made. It's not a requirement, but these changes will allow you to use the new version of the tax liability report with the paid family leave section added, and making these changes will also allow Sage 50 to pass the paid family leave information to your Atrix state tax forms. This company is in Connecticut, where only the employees contribute to paid family leave. The first step is to modify the employee defaults window. On the employee fields tab, a custom field name was used to identify this paid family leave formula prior to release 2022. This value should be changed to the new standard SAGE 50 designation. Simply key over the existing field name and click OK. The next step is to open the Payroll Settings Wizard and correct the assigned tax fields on the State Paid Employee Taxes window. On first access, the Paid Family Leave field displays a value of none. Select the standard SAGE 50 Paid Family Leave designation from the drop-down menu and click OK. And please note, if you do not see the correct value in the list, close and reopen your company and then try it again. Then click Finish to update the wizard. Once you have made those two changes, changing the custom field name on employee defaults to the standard SAGE 50 designation and selecting the standard designation on the assigned tax fields window, you will be able to use the tax liability report with the new paid family leave section and SAGE 50 will pass your paid family leave data to Atrix to complete the state tax forms. Let's start with the tax liability report. Here is the report showing the paid family leave information. Now let's look at the payroll register. The payroll register would show your paid family leave data whether you make any changes or not. If we had not changed the field name on employee defaults, the paid family leave information would still appear on this report, but with the old field name as the report heading. Now let's take a look at the Atrix state tax forms. For Connecticut, we have a quarterly paid family leave report. Here is the report with the data filled in from SAGE 50. For more information on paid family leave, here is a list of relevant knowledge base articles. Notice each state has its own article because there can be differences in how amounts are calculated from state to state. Some states also have additional setup steps to complete. Be sure to read the article for your state. And check the knowledge base often for updates, especially after new releases and at year end. This concludes our look at the Release 2022 Paid Family Leave Enhancement. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the second lesson introducing you to Release 2022. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning lesson. For information on additional training options, please visit us at sageu.com.